This is the navigator overhead faulted circuit indicator. Uh, to install the unit, you open up the clamp until it locks into place, and then you can either, uh, with your gloves or attach a hot stick, uh, install it on the conductor until it snaps into place. Uh, you want the unit to snap into place to where the conductor is underneath the pad of the clamp. If you install it and the unit is uh, loose like this, that's okay. Simply pull on the unit until the clamp opens up and try it back again. You always want the unit to snap into place nice and tight and snug. Uh, the navigator can be used uh, on, on dip poles feeding an underground section, can be used anywhere on an overhead line. Uh, if the unit is flashing, it's red LEDs like this is here. It's indicating that the fault is downstream and it's indicating a permanent fault and the breaker is locked out. If the unit is flashing yellow like this unit is here, it's indicating that it saw a momentary fault and that the circuit is back operating normal, but the source of that momentary fault is downstream in this location. The navigator uh, also has an extendo stick uh, installation or removal tool. Uh, it comes with a uh, typical extendo stick fitting. Uh, the key to the tool is this opening here and the fitting here is controlled by a lever on the side. It's either in this state or it can be flopped over to this state here. To install the navigator with the extendo stick tool, line up the opening and the nose of the unit until it locks into place. Then flop the arrow over so it's pointed in the up direction. Next open the clamp of the unit and install it on the conductor. After installation, when you pull on the tool, the navigator stays on the overhead conductor and the tool comes off. To remove the unit, simply change the direction of the lever to the down arrow, line up the opening of the unit, and lock it into place. Now when you pull on the unit, you have enough leverage to open up the clamp and the unit will come off the line.